Hermann Klaus Hugo Weil, German, Val, the 9th of November 1885 to the 8th of December 1955, was a German mathematician, theoretical physicist and philosopher. Although much of his working life was spent in Zurich, Switzerland and then Princeton, New Jersey, he is associated with the University of Göttingen tradition of mathematics, represented by David Hilbert and Hermann Minkowski. His research has had major significance for theoretical physics as well as purely mathematical disciplines including number theory. He was one of the most influential mathematicians of the 20th century, and an important member of the Institute for Advanced Study during its early years. Whale published technical and some general works on space, time, matter, philosophy, logic, symmetry, and the history of mathematics. He was one of the first to conceive of combining general relativity with the laws of electromagnetism. While no mathematician of his generation aspired to the universalism of Henri Poincaré or Hilbert, Whale came as close as anyone. Michael Audia, in particular, has commented that whenever he examined a mathematical topic, he found that Whale had preceded him. Biography Whale was born in Elmshorn, a small town near Hamburg, in Germany, and attended the Gymnasium Christianium in Altona. From 1904 to 1908, he studied mathematics and physics in both Göttingen and Munich. His doctorate was awarded at the University of Göttingen under the supervision of David Hilbert, whom he greatly admired. In September 1913 in Göttingen, Whale married Frederica Bertha Helena Joseph March 30, 1893 to September 5, 1948 who went by the name Helena nickname Hella. Helena was a daughter of Dr. Bruno Joseph December 13, 1861 to June 10, 1934, a physician who held the position of Sanitatsrat in Ribnitz Damgarten, Germany. Helena was a philosopher she was a disciple of phenomenologist Edmund Husserl and also a translator of Spanish literature into German and English especially the works of Spanish philosopher José Ortega y Gasset. It was through Helene's close connection with Husserl that Hermann became familiar with and greatly influenced by Husserl's thought. Hermann and Helena had two sons, Fritz Joachim Weyl February 19, 1915 to July 20, 1977, and Michael Weyl September 15, 1917 to March 19, 2011, both of whom were born in Zurich, Switzerland. Helena died in Princeton, New Jersey on September 5, 1948. A memorial service in her honor was held in Princeton on September 9, 1948. Speakers at her memorial service included her son Fritz Joachim Weyl and mathematicians Oswald Veblen and Richard Current. In 1950 Hermann married sculptress Ellen Barr April 17, 1902 to July 14, 1988, who was the widow of Professor Richard Joseph Barr September 11, 1892 to December 15, 1940 of Zurich. After taking a teaching post for a few years, Whale left Göttingen in 1913 for Zurich to take the chair of mathematics at the ETH Zurich, where he was a colleague of Albert Einstein, who was working out the details of the theory of general relativity. Einstein had a lasting influence on Whale, who became fascinated by mathematical physics. In 1921 Whale met Erwin Schrödinger, a theoretical physicist who at the time was a professor at the University of Zurich. They were to become close friends over time. Whale had some sort of childless love affair with Irwin's wife Anne Marie Annie Schrödinger nay Bertel December 31, 1896 to October 3, 1965, while at the same time Annie was helping raise an illegitimate daughter of Irwin's named Ruth Georgie Erica March, who was born in 1934 in Oxford, England. Whale was a plenary speaker of the International Congress of Mathematicians ICM in 1928 at Bologna and an invited speaker of the ICM in 1936 at Oslo. For the academic year 1928-1929 he was a visiting professor at Princeton University, where he wrote a paper with Howard P. Robertson. Whale left Zurich in 1930 to become Hilbert's successor at Göttingen, leaving when the Nazis assumed power in 1933, particularly as his wife was Jewish. He had been offered one of the first faculty positions at the new Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey, but had declined because he did not desire to leave his homeland. As the political situation in Germany grew worse, he changed his mind and accepted when offered the position again. He remained there until his retirement in 1951. Together with his second wife Ellen, he spent his time in Princeton and Zurich, and died from a heart attack on December 8, 1955 while living in Zurich. 
Hermann Weyl was cremated in Zurich on December 12, 1955. His cremains remained in private hands until 1999, at which time they were interred in an outdoor columbarium vault in the Princeton Cemetery aka the Princeton Cemetery of Nassau Presbyterian Church, located at 29 Greenview Avenue, Princeton Mercer County, New Jersey. The remains of Hermann's son Michael Whale are interred right next to Hermann's ashes in the same columbarium vault in the Princeton Cemetery. Whale was a pantheist. Contributions Distribution of eigenvalues In 1911 Whale published Über die asymptotische Verteilung der Eigenwerte on the asymptotic distribution of eigenvalues in which he proved that the eigenvalues of the Laplacian in the compact domain are distributed according to the so-called Whale law. In 1912 he suggested a new proof, based on variational principles. Whale returned to this topic several times, considered elasticity system and formulated the Whale conjecture. These works started an important domain, asymptotic distribution of eigenvalues, of modern analysis. Topic. Geometric foundations of manifolds and physics In 1913, Whale published Die Idee der Riemannschen Flash, the concept of a Riemann surface, which gave a unified treatment of Riemann surfaces. In it, Whale utilized point set topology, in order to make Riemann surface theory more rigorous, a model followed in later work on manifolds. He absorbed L. E. J. Brouwer's early work in topology for this purpose. Whale, as a major figure in the Göttingen school, was fully apprised of Einstein's work from its early days. He tracked the development of relativity physics in his ROM, Zeit, Materie space, time, matter from 1918, reaching a fourth edition in 1922. In 1918, he introduced the notion of gauge, and gave the first example of what is now known as a gauge theory. Whale's gauge theory was an unsuccessful attempt to model the electromagnetic field and the gravitational field as geometrical properties of spacetime. The whale tensor in Riemannian geometry is of major importance in understanding the nature of conformal geometry. In 1929, Whale introduced the concept of the Vierbein into general relativity. His overall approach in physics was based on the phenomenological philosophy of Edmund Husserl, specifically Husserl's 1913 Ideen zu einer reinen Phänomenologie und Phänomenologischen Philosophie. Erste's book, Allgemeine Einführung in die Reine Phänomenologie Ideas of a Pure Phenomenology and Phenomenological Philosophy. First book, General Introduction. Husserl had reacted strongly to Gottlob Frege's criticism of his first work on the philosophy of arithmetic and was investigating the sense of mathematical and other structures, which Frege had distinguished from empirical reference. Topic. Topological groups, Lie groups and representation theory From 1923 to 1938, Whale developed the theory of compact groups, in terms of matrix representations. In the compact Lie group case he proved a fundamental character formula. These results are foundational in understanding the symmetry structure of quantum mechanics, which he put on a group theoretic basis. This included spinors. Together with the mathematical formulation of quantum mechanics, in large measure due to John von Neumann, this gave the treatment familiar since about 1930. Non-compact groups and their representations, particularly the Heisenberg group, were also streamlined in that specific context. In his 1927 Whale quantization, the best extant bridge between classical and quantum physics to date. From this time, and certainly much helped by Whale's expositions, Lie groups and Lie algebras became a mainstream part both of pure mathematics and theoretical physics. His book The Classical Groups reconsidered invariant theory. It covered symmetric groups, general linear groups, orthogonal groups, and symplectic groups and results on their invariants and representations. Topic. Harmonic analysis and analytic number theory Whale also showed how to use exponential sums in Diophantine approximation, with his criterion for uniform distribution mod 1, which was a fundamental step in analytic number theory. This work applied to the Riemann zeta function, as well as additive number theory. It was developed by many others. 
Topic: <laughs> Foundations of Mathematics. In the continuum Whale developed the logic of predicative analysis using the lower levels of Bertrand Russell's ramified theory of types. He was able to develop most of classical calculus, while using neither the axiom of choice nor proof by contradiction, and avoiding Georg Cantor's infinite sets. Whale appealed in this period to the radical constructivism of the German Romantic, subjective idealist Fichte. Shortly after publishing The Continuum Whale briefly shifted his position wholly to the intuitionism of Brouwer. In The Continuum, the constructible points exist as discrete entities. Whale wanted a continuum that was not an aggregate of points. He wrote a controversial article proclaiming that, for himself and L. E. J. Brouwer, we are the revolution. This article was far more influential in propagating intuitionistic views than the original works of Brouwer himself. George Paglia and Whale, during a mathematician's gathering in Zurich the 9th of February 1918, made a bet concerning the future direction of mathematics. Whale predicted that in the subsequent 20 years, mathematicians would come to realize the total vagueness of notions such as real numbers, sets, and countability, and moreover, that asking about the truth or falsity of the least upper bound property of the real numbers was as meaningful as asking about truth of the basic assertions of Hegel on the philosophy of nature. Any answer to such a question would be unverifiable, unrelated to experience, and therefore senseless. However, within a few years Whale decided that Brouwer's intuitionism did put too great restrictions on mathematics, as critics had always said. The crisis article had disturbed Whale's formalist teacher Hilbert, but later in the 1920s Whale partially reconciled his position with that of Hilbert. After about 1928 Whale had apparently decided that mathematical intuitionism was not compatible with his enthusiasm for the phenomenological philosophy of Husserl, as he had apparently earlier thought. In the last decades of his life Whale emphasized mathematics as symbolic construction, and moved to a position closer not only to Hilbert but to that of Ernst Cassirer. Whale however rarely refers to Cassirer, and wrote only brief articles and passages articulating this position. By 1949, Whale was thoroughly disillusioned with the ultimate value of intuitionism, and wrote, "...mathematics with Brouwer gains its highest intuitive clarity. He succeeds in developing the beginnings of analysis in a natural manner, all the time preserving the contact with intuition much more closely than had been done before. It cannot be denied, however, that in advancing to higher and more general theories the inapplicability of the simple laws of classical logic eventually results in an almost unbearable awkwardness. And the mathematician watches with pain the greater part of his towering edifice which he believed to be built of concrete blocks dissolve into mist before his eyes. <laughs> Whale fermions. In 1929, Whale proposed a fermion for use in a replacement theory for relativity. This fermion would be a massless quasiparticle and carry electric charge. An electron could be split into two Whale fermions or formed from two Whale fermions. Neutrinos were once thought to be Whale fermions, but they are now known to have mass. Whale fermions are sought after for electronics applications to solve some problems that electrons present. Such quasiparticles were discovered in 2015, in a form of crystals known as whale semimetals, a type of topological material. Quotes The question for the ultimate foundations and the ultimate meaning of mathematics remains open, we do not know in which direction it will find its final solution nor even whether a final objective answer can be expected at all. Mathematizing may well be a creative activity of man, like language or music, of primary originality, whose historical decisions defy complete objective rationalization. Gesemelt Abandlungen, as quoted in Year Book, The American Philosophical Society, 1943, p. 392 In these days the angel of topology and the devil of abstract algebra fight for the soul of each individual mathematical domain. Whale 1939b, p. 500 Topic. Bibliography 1911. Über die asymptotische Verteilung der Eigenwerte, Nekriken der Konnelichen Gesellschaft der Wissenschaften zu Göttingen, 110-117 1911. 
1913. Die Idee der Riemannschen Flash, 2D 1955. The Concept of a Riemann Surface. Addison Wesley. 1918. Das Continuum, Trans. 1987 The Continuum, A Critical Examination of the Foundation of Analysis. ISBN 0-486-67982-9 1918. Rahm, Zeit, Mattery, 5 EDNS, to 1922 ed., with notes by Jürgen Ehlers, 1980. Trans. Fourth EDN. Henry Bros, 1922 Space-Time Matter, Methuen, Rept. 1952 Dover. ISBN 0-486-60267-2 1923. Mathematische Analyse des Raumproblems 1924. Was East Mattery? 1925, PUBL. 1988 ed. K. Chandrasekharan Riemann's Geometrische Idee 1927. Philosophie der Mathematik und Naturwissenschaft, 2DEDN. 1949. Philosophy of Mathematics and Natural Science, Princeton 0689702078. With new introduction by Frank Vilcek, Princeton University Press, 2009, ISBN 978-0-691-14120-6 1928. Gruppentheorie und Quantenmechanik. Transl, by H. P. Robertson, The Theory of Groups and Quantum Mechanics, 1931, Rept. 1950 Dover. ISBN 0-486-60269-9 Electron und Gravitation I. Zeitschrift Physik, 56, pp. 330-352, Introduction of the Vierbein into GR 1933. The Open World Yale, Rept. 1989 Oxbow Press ISBN 0-918024-70-6 1934. Mind and Nature U of Pennsylvania Press 1934. On generalized Riemann matrices. Anne, Math. 35 to 400 minus 415. 1935. Elementary theory of invariance. 1935. The structure and representation of continuous groups. Lectures at Princeton University during 1933-34. Whale, Herman. 1939. The classical groups. Their Invariants and Representations, Princeton University Press, ISBN 978-0-691-05756-9, Mr. 0000255 Whale, Herman 1939b. Invariants. Duke Mathematical Journal, 5-3, 489 5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 489-5-3, 
Deppert, Wolfgang et al., eds., Exact Sciences and Their Philosophical Foundations. Vortrage des Internationalen Hermann Weyl Congresses, Kiel 1985, Bern, New York, Paris, Peter Lang 1988 Ivor Grattan Guinness, 2000. The Search for Mathematical Roots 1870–1940. Princeton Uni. Press. Thomas Hawkins, Emergence of the Theory of Lie Groups, New York, Springer, 2000. Kilmister, C. W. October 1980. Zeno, Aristotle, Whale and Sheward, Two and a Half Millennia of Worries Over Number. The Mathematical Gazette, The Mathematical Gazette, Vol. 64, No. 429, 64, 429, 149-158, doi, 10.2307, 3615116, JSTOR 3615116. In connection with the whale Paulia Bet, a copy of the original letter together with some background can be found in, Paulia, G. Ina Ehreneringen and Hermann Whale. Mathematische Zeitschrift. 126 3, 296-298. doi, 10.1007, BF 0110732. Erhard Scholz, Robert Coleman, Herbert Court, Hubert Goner, Schooley Sigurdsson, Norbert Strauman eds. Hermann Weyl's Rom, Zeit, Mattery and a General Introduction to His Scientific Work Oberwolfach Seminars ISBN 3-7643-6476-9 Springer Verlag New York New York, NY. Schooley Sigurdsson. Physics, Life, and Contingency, Born, Schrödinger, and Weyl in Exile. In Mitchell G. Ash, and Alphonse Solner, eds., Forced Migration and Scientific Change, Emigre German-Speaking Scientists and Scholars After 1933 Washington, D.C., German Historical Institute in New York, Cambridge University Press, 1996, pp. 48-70. Whale, Hermann 2012, Peter Pasek, ed., Levels of Infinity, Selected Writings on Mathematics and Philosophy, Dover, ISBN 978-0-486-48903-2 External links National Academy of Sciences Biography Bell, John L. Hermann Whale on Intuition and the Continuum Pfefferman, Solomon. Significance of Hermann Weyl's Das Continuum. Straub, William O. Hermann Weyl website Works by Hermann Weyl at Project Gutenberg Works by or about Hermann Weyl at Internet Archive